Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat malam. <coughs> Kesu okay, hari ini kita akan uh, sambung topik uh, uh, yang ke-6 lah cerita yang ke-6 uh, iaitu uh, uh, berkaitan dengan uh, kapasitor yang inductor eh. Okey, uh, sorry I forgot that we got um, international students lah. Uh, Okey, so we will look into chapter 6 uh, capacitor and inductor so this topic is uh, is very important uh, so last time you already look into the um, resistance and how you do some analysis uh, using a uh, resistor in the circuit but now we add uh, another element which is capacitor and also inductor Okay, so in this topic, uh, we will have um, uh, four main topics, which is capacitor and the application of capacitor, and then uh, inductor and as, uh, also the uh, application of the inductor. Okay, so first thing first, eh, we look into the capacitor. <coughs> So anyone, uh, most of you I think uh, already know what is uh, how the capacitor looks like, right? Um, and um, and okay. So previously we uh, we only limited our study to resistive circuit. So now we uh, introduce two new important passive uh, linear circuit elements. Eh? capacitor as well as the inductor okay? so unlike the so unlike the resistor okay, which is uh, dissipate the energy when the, when the current flow into the, the resistor okay, when the current flow into the resistor uh, it will create a heat uh, or uh, in the resistor and then that heat it will dip, dissipate uh, into the air okay? uh, but for the capacitor and also inductor uh, they are not dissipating the, the energy but it store the energy and it keep the energy uh, from the source okay? which then we can retrieve late, uh, at a later time okay? Uh, the capacitor and the inductor, we call it uh, uh, also known as a storage element. Okay? Storage element. So, so that's why we need uh, this element, capacitor and also inductor in our circuit. Uh, their function is to to store the energy. Okay, and that, so what is the capacitor? <laughs> what is the capacitor? So, uh, what can you understand about the capacitor? Eh? So, the capacitor is uh, the name uh, capacitor came from the capacitor eh? and the uh, storage. So, so we took the capacitor, eh, capacitor. And, uh, and the capacitor is a passive element designed to store the energy in its electrical field. Right? Electrical field. So, so there is a uh, several type of capacitor. Uh, we got uh, the polarized capacitor, which is got a negative and positive terminal, and then we also have several other capacitor which doesn't have the. So you can put uh, any polarity. Right? So we got here ceramic disk capacitor, multi-layer capacitor, mica capacitor, um, high voltage ceramic capacitor, and surface mount capacitor, which is used in the electronic circuit. Okay. And the symbol for the capacitor is uh, this, this thing. Okay. Uh, 
So, so we got two symbol, two type of symbol. Uh, for fixed capacitor and for the uh, variable capacitor. And the unit for the capacitor is a uh, farad. And farad. So, and one farad uh, is equal to one column per volt and one charge uh, for every volt. And, uh, for the differential. Okay, so this is the example of the symbol. Okay. Okay. So this is the uh, the man called uh, Michael Faraday. Eh? Uh, uh, it, uh, he is an uh, English chemist and also physicist. Eh? Uh, uh, probably the greatest uh, experimentalist uh, who ever lived. And, and the unit capacitance itself uh, taken from his name. Eh? Uh, for his honor. Okay. So the capacitor consists of uh, two conducting plates. Eh? Uh, so we, that's why the symbol itself we got two plates like this. So it consists of two conducting plates separate uh, by insulator. Eh? So in the middle between two plates, we got a uh, uh, insulator. So so the plate uh, can be some kind of material like uh, aluminum foil or any other that, that can uh, keep the charge eh? while uh, dielectric in the middle eh? maybe air, ceramic, uh, paper or mica so this is the type of the let's call it uh, insulator eh? So how the capacitor works? Eh? So when the voltage source uh, is connected uh, between two terminals for the capacitor, eh? the source will deposit a positive charge eh, Q on one plate uh, and and negative charge on the negative plate eh, on the other plate. Eh? So that capacitor we can say is uh, store the electric charge. Eh? So the amount of uh, charge stored in the capacitor represent by Q. Okay? So this is the important symbol. Okay? So Q is a charge okay? represented by Q and is directly proportional to the applied voltage. Okay? And the Q itself equals to CV. Okay. Okay. Uh, while uh, C is the constant of proportionality, uh, which uh, also, uh, is known as a capacitance of the capacitor. So the value of the capacitance, uh, the unit is in farad or microfarad, millifarad, whatever. And, and uh, one farad will be equal to one column per book. Eh? So, so this is C and this is Q. And this is the V, eh? which is why Q equals to CV. Eh? Because when, when when you move a V onto the other side, V onto the other side, it will, will be on the bottom. Okay. Although the capacitor C, uh, a capacitance uh, of the capacitor is the ratio of the charge per uh, per plate to the applied voltage. But uh, it does not. Uh, it does not depend on the Q or V. Okay? So the capacitance is given by C equals to A over D, where A is the surface area of the plate, of each plate, and D is the di distance between the plate. So when we have, uh, for example, this is the plate. Okay? Okay? We've got two plates, for example. Okay, and then we got the distance between the two plates. Okay? So this is D, and the area here is A, yeah? surface area for plate. Yeah? And this symbol is the permittivity. Yeah? 
of a dielectric material between the plates. So the electric material is being at the insulator in between uh, uh, either air or mica or any other material that can be uh, insulated. So and their permeability will be in here. Okay. Okay, so, so usually the surface area of the plate for the capacitor is will be larger than uh, the area uh, the plate. So this means the larger the the, large, the bigger the area of the surface area A, yeah, meaning that the the capacitor value will be bigger. Yeah, and the spacing between uh, the plate D. Yeah, uh, the smaller the spacing, the greater the value of the capacitor. Okay? And then the permittivity, the higher the permittivity, the greater the capacitor value. So this is the three, three uh, um, uh, what to call it, um, variable that uh, decide the value of the capacitor. Okay? Capacitors are normally uh, are commercially available in different value and type and, and, and typically the, the, the capacitor have value in picofarad into microfarad. Okay? So pico is big and micro is very small. Yeah? They are described by the dielectric material uh, which are made of uh, by whether they are fixed or variable type. So, for example, if you look into the uh, uh, website like Shopee or Lazada, okay, you can search uh, the capacitor and, and the, the, the result, the search result will come out uh, uh, many, many value and type of capacitor. Okay? And, that you can choose off. Yeah? Okay. okay, so we look into the high voltage electrolytic, uh, so so various application for 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 the for the uh, capacitor. So first uh, in high voltage electrolytic, which is used in power supply, and we also have the axial uh, electrolytic. Uh, capacitor uh, which usually used in a small uh, lower voltage yeah, smaller size for general purpose uh, uh, where large capacitor value are needed yeah? uh, so so this is the example yeah? so this is the axial capacitor so this is high voltage um, usually quite big in size and then we also have a high voltage dish ceramic, eh? small size uh, and small capacitor value, but have uh, an excellent tolerant characteristic. Eh? And then we also have a metallized uh, propylene eh? a capacitor, uh, which is uh, used in uh, electronic uh, circuit, electrical circuit. Eh? And then we also have a sub miniature multi layer ceramic chip and, uh, for surface mount electronic circuit. Uh, so it's got a relatively high surface capacitance uh, for size uh, and multiple layer. Eh? So, <coughs> okay. so then we also have a polyester uh, capacitor which are very light in weight, stable. And the chart, the, the, the value itself uh, is changed with the temperature and, and, and quite predictable. Yeah? Okay, another thing is uh, so other capacitor uh, like uh, that, uh, that use uh, like a mica capacitor or polystyrene. Maybe use uh, this is for a material that can be used in in uh, uh, creating or building the capacitor. Eh? 
and then we also have film capacitor which are rolled and housed in a metal or plastic film yeah. and usually uh, for electrolytic so this is the electrolytic capacitor yeah, uh, produce very high capacitor yeah. and and I think this this kind of capacitor you can uh, see a lot in in like for example motherboard of the computer in electrical circuit. So this is how the the electrolytic capacitor are uh, developed. Okay. Uh, was uh, got uh, several layer uh, of uh, paper and also insulator. Okay. Okay. So usually for for the capacitor, the current is passed through the capacitor and the action of electrolyte cause a very thin layer of aluminum oxide to build up. Uh, on the positive plate, so it's it is this extremely thin layer that is used as an insulating dielectric. So the capacitor is polarized and must not have a reverse polarity voltage supply. So so that's why in in the electrolytic capacitor we have to make sure that the polarity for the capacitor when we install onto the circuit is follow. Okay? So that's why when we when we uh, build a circuit and we want to connect the the electrolytic capacitor, we have to make sure that the polarity is correct. Okay? Otherwise, uh, uh, the that electrolyte will will, will uh, boil and expand, and then it will uh, have a violent explosion within uh, millisecond. Okay? Okay, so, so that's all for the for the electrolytic capacitor, and then now we go into the capacitor capacitance of a trimmer or pedal capacitor. It's often placed in a parallel with uh, another capacitor so that the equivalent capacitance can be very slightly. So this is we we talk about the uh, variable capacitor, okay? Variable capacitor. So usually it's it's parallel with this other capacitor, uh, so that we can uh, change very the value. The capacitance of the variable air capacitor and is varied by turning the shaft. And, uh, can be manually turned or can be uh, automatically right? using mechanical motor or something. Right. So this is the 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 relation between the current and the charge and current and the voltage okay? so I will be equals to the change of charge to the change of time okay? and it can also relate with the if we replace this Q with Q is equal to CV right so if we replace this we will have a I equals to um, C dv per dt okay? dv over dt okay so so this is the the, the graph that we can get uh, from this equation right um, okay. so this is the, the relation okay? uh, so if we we know that I equals to C uh, dV over dt. So from this, actually, we can determine the the value of voltage. And we can we can uh, reverse by using the integration. So this is the uh, derivation. So this is the integration. So we reverse the uh, on we cap on calculating the value of the voltage. Okay. So and then when we talk about the the uh, instantaneous power that we deliver to the capacitor, uh, we can use this equation. P equals to V over I 
um, where i is c d v over d so we just put into that and then we can get the 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 instantaneous power right so p over v i where um, i equals to c d v d so p c d v d t yeah. so we can combine so from that we can do the we can determine the value of energy stored in the capacitor so this is the important equation uh, energy store which is uh, w yeah. so w is equals to when we derive this we get uh, the equation w equals to uh, half c v square yeah. so this is uh, the equation that you need to remember yeah? otherwise you, you will not be able to, to solve this this problem yeah? okay so when the voltage is um, in the capacitor is not changing with the time the current through the capacitor will be zero so this means for the capacitor to work um, the voltage must uh, change with the time. Yeah. Okay, so the capacitor is an open circuit to DC. So this means when we use, uh, when we have the capacitor, for example, yeah, like this, and we, when we provide the the, the DC supply, yeah, for example, VDC then this capacitor will become open circuit okay? open circuit because the, the the voltage across the capacitor is fixed it's not changed right so a DC voltage is fixed okay like this so so when when the, the voltage across the capacitor is not changing with the time the current will be equals to zero so that means there will be there will be no current so it's like an open circuit okay so i will be equals to zero but yeah. okay. however uh, if a battery is connected to the uh, ac capacitor the capacitor is charged yeah. so the voltage on the capacitor must be continuous yeah. So the voltage on the capacitor cannot change uh, abruptly. So that means it cannot. Uh, uh, so it need to be uh, slowly charged and then uh, slowly discharged, not uh, go sudden increase or sudden decrease in the value of the capacity, uh, value of the voltage in the capacitor. Okay? So this thing is allowed uh, in the voltage. So that means if we have the capacitor, like this, the capacitor will charge. We'll take, when we give a supply, the capacitor will charge. And then uh, after that, uh, when we remove the supply, the capacitor will discharge to provide the supply to other component in the, in the circuit. Okay? But for, uh, and it, this this kind of situation cannot yeah? uh, not allowable. Yeah? Okay. okay, when we look into the uh, ideal capacitor, yeah? when we look into the ideal capacitor, ideal capacitor usually will not uh, dissipate the, the energy, will not dissipate the heat. Yeah? So when we provide with the supply, capacitor will store the energy energy okay? so it takes power from the circuit uh, when storing the energy in its field and return uh, the previously stored energy when the delivering power to the circuit so this mean uh, for example if there is a supply when the supply provide uh, is provided to the circuit the capacitor will will store some of energy uh, in its capacitor right? then whenever there is no supply or, or change in the direction and then 
the capacitor can can release its store energy into the circuit. Yeah? Okay. So a real and non idle capacitor. So okay, in term when we will talk about the models because uh, in, in in the simulation for example or in the real world testing we need to do the, the modeling first, right? So so in term of non when we talk about the, the real capacitor uh, which is non ideal, yeah, usually the, the capacitor will have a, a parallel model uh, with of a leakage resistance, yeah? and and usually the leakage resistance will be uh, can be as high as 100 mega ohm, yeah? which is quite big. Uh, 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 the current can still flow, uh, uh, can still pass uh, through the capacitor, uh, but at a, a very small value. A very small value eh, due to the a high value of the uh, uh, resistance eh? and, and usually in the practical application we can neglect and eh? we can get ignore that value eh? okay you know that that kind of um, what you call it uh, we can ignore the that model eh? okay then we talk into we look into the application of the capacitor so so where we can use the capacitor. Okay? So most of the, the preliminary function, the preliminary uh, reason for uh, the capacitor itself, uh, the existence of the capacitor is to store the energy. Okay? So this is the main uh, function. Okay? So the capacitor can store the electric energy when it is connected to its charging circuit. So, uh, when the charging circuit is disconnected, uh, then the capacitor can dissipate that stored energy. Uh, so, it can function like a temporary uh, uh, battery. Okay. So, another example is uh, an audio amplifier. Yeah? Uh, we use a, a quite big uh, uh, capacitor. So, so if you have a car, for example, and and you want to install the uh, big sound system, a loud sound system, then you will need uh, a big size uh, of the capacitor. Yeah? And then uh, capacitor also used in uh, uninterruptible power supply, yeah? UPS. Uh, I think I think most of you heard about term uh, UPS which is uh, uninterruptible power supply usually used in the the, the uh, uh, usually UPS used with uh, a company to accompany the, the computer and so, so it, if you go into the, the the computer lab for example you will find a lot of uh, uninterruptible power supply right? so because because the computer or the, the storage system they they need the uninterrupted power supply to make sure that the, the power will not uh, uh, cut off suddenly which 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 can result in the loss of important data so that's why we need uh, UPS okay and then another application for the capacitor is uh, fast power and also in the weapon okay, uh, to, to create a weapon and also um, in a low induction high voltage capacitor okay. for example it used in the particle accelerator so, so maybe some of you heard about the large uh, hadron collider which is this LHD okay. so the uh, a group of many scientists in Europe, they, they built a, a large hydron collider to, to study about the physics, uh, to, about the particle. Yeah. So, so the epic, so the the size of the system, uh, large hydron collider is uh, around 
26.7 kilometer in the uh, circumference, which is very big. I think I think uh, bigger than Parit Raja or Pago itself, eh? and 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 they, they 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 push the 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 electron and neutron to uh, to make uh, the particle uh, collide each other. Eh? Then from that they they can see what is happening inside there so so this is the the, uh, the turning point in in physics eh? physics study okay okay and then um, the capacitor also used in power conditioning uh, in filtering and then a reservoir capacitor are used in uh, power supply where uh, they smooth the output of a uh, full or wave, uh, half wave rectifier, right? Eh? Uh, the power converter. I think I think in the in the next semester or two semester, we will we will take the we will take the power electronic uh, converter course, which are then we will, we will see the importance of capacitor in 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 that circuit, eh? So the capacitor are connected in parallel with the DC power circuit yeah, of most electronic device. Yeah. The function of the capacitor is to smooth the electrical fluctuation, the current fluctuation, for a signal or control circuit. Yeah. So this is to 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 eliminate the 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 the, the current path. Yeah. And so, so to filter out. Yeah. Okay, so this is the example of the the uh, output waveform of the rectifier okay, from AC into the DC. So how the the function the the capacitor work is to smooth the so usually from here in here we have an AC okay, and then at the output uh, after diode we will have some kind of this. It will uh, so so it, it should be okay, so after the diode it will uh, remove the uh, the negative side of the supply so it will be like this negative side no more okay, it will move. so then we will have the another positive side so this is after the diode right here so this is halfway okay and then we got the capacitor here so this capacitor will function as a uh, uh, to smooth the output uh, of the voltage okay? so in here we have a positive and then zero and then positive back right so when we have the capacitor uh, it will it will be the the waveform will become like this so the capacitor will whenever the the, the output is dropped and then the supply will come from the capacitor and then it will start again so we will have a, like a constant supply see here okay that's okay so then we have a uh, uh, the capacitor also used in a uh, power factor correction eh? in the power factor correction so usually in the in the electrical supply in electrical power system supply uh, like in um, the, the 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 factory that use a lot of machine and motor which affecting the the, the power factor so then they will use a capacitor bank as a power factor correction to correct the power, power factor in the system. Okay. And also the capacitor also used in as a filters, eh? filters and yeah. high pass filter or low pass filter to to to, to control uh, as a control. Okay. okay. And then the capacitor also used in various uh, circuit tuning okay. so usually the capacitor and inductor apply together in uh, 
still secret to select the information in particular frequency band. band. So, for example, in radio receiver, which are rely on the variable capacitor to tune the station frequency. Right. And then capacitor also used in motor starter. Right. This is that's why you know at home, sometime after several years, you will see that your 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 ceiling fan or your your table fan starting to to slowing down. So usually is uh, due to the uh, uh, damage or or all capacitor eh? edges capacitor. So so usually you, you can just replace to with a new capacitor and and your the fan can start or your motor can start to work like new again. Eh? Okay, so this is the motor starter capacitor uh, for 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 uh, sole purpose of for the motor starting. Yeah. Alright, so we'll pass this. Okay, so then we look into the exam uh, the calculation example. So so in the in the in the capacitor also we have some uh, calculation topic. Okay, for example the first example. Example, uh, okay. so let's say uh, the question is uh, calculate the charge store on a 3 picofarad capacitor with a uh, 20 volt across it. Okay. Uh, so, so you know the, the equation Q equals to C, right? So, you know the charge. So, Q is uh, you don't know the Q, you want to find the Q. So, C is 3 picofarad and the voltage is 20 volt so just this this equation you can find uh, the, the the charge the charge store in the capacitor okay and then for for the second question uh, question uh, energy store so energy is w so we can use uh, this equation so c v square okay? where uh, c uh, is a uh, 3 people for that okay. and V is uh, 20 volt okay. so then you can find the, the, the energy store in the capacitor so this is the, the, the answer for this for this problem okay you can try to do it okay, okay for the for the second question um, for example 2 what is the voltage across uh, 4.5 microfarad? So let's say I put uh, C equals to 4.5 microfarad. If the charge on one plate is given a 0.12 millicoulomb, okay? so Q is equals to 0.12 millicoulomb. Okay? So from this. It, uh, you need to determine the uh, amount of energy store. So this is W. And the first one is you need to find uh, V. Okay? So same like a previous question. Q equals to CV. So V is equal to Q over C. Okay? Use this. Use this. So then you can determine the value of um, uh, voltage yeah? 4.5 microfarad so you will get the answer so then this is, so this is for the first one uh, the voltage across the capacitor and then the second one the energy store so the energy store is W equals to C V square yeah? so C already uh, for, uh, is 4.5 microfarad and V is from uh, the value that you define from the calculation. Okay? So then you can get the value of the uh, energy store. Okay, so this is the example. So, yeah. so this, the, third, the third one you can try at home. Okay. So. Okay, so this one I 
can try to do it um, for yourself. Let's go into the, the next question, the next topic, uh, which is uh, inductance. Okay, uh, first thing is we go into uh, how to calculate the series and parallel capacitor. So this is also important. Okay. So let's say we have a capacitor that are connected in series. So let's say a capacitor connected in series. Okay. Also, this is in parallel. Yeah. Okay, so the capacitor, if we, if we connect the capacitor in parallel, it will, do, uh, its capacitor value, we can just add it like a, a resistance value in series. Yeah. So this, this is for, for the the parallel connected capacitor. Okay. But if we have the, the, the capacitor that connect in, in series, yeah, in series, then the value of the capacitor need to be calculated like a parallel resistor. So reverse. Okay. okay, so this is the example on how we calculate the value of the capacitor in the circuit uh, series and parallel okay. I think I refer. for this you can uh, uh, total first the, the the parallel one 20 plus 6 will be 26 right 26 and then you can do the 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 series the series first and right? the series here which is uh, using the 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 parallel equation for the resistor, and then for after that you can you can uh, totally uh, using the uh, using the parallel yeah, uh, capacitor concept, uh, and then after that you will do again. Yeah. So this is the the uh, solution for this. Yeah. So the best way is to to do one by one, step by step to to determine the value of the equivalent capacitor. Okay, you can try this example. Okay. Okay, so then we look into the inductor. Yeah. Okay, so previously we looked into the capacitor, uh, how the capacitor work, uh, uh, the the mathematical relation for the capacitor and also application for the capacitor where can we use that capacitor and also uh, the sum calculation and also series and parallel for the capacitor okay now we go into the inductor so inductor is also same like a uh, capacitor which is a passive element okay? which are designed to store the energy yeah, in its magnetic field so uh, unlike a uh, capacitor uh, the inductor is stored in a magnetic field yeah? uh, so so any conductor in electrical current has inductive property and may be regarded as uh, an inductor yeah? so to enhance the inductive effect a particle inductor is usually formed into the cylindrical coil with uh, many turn of conducting wire. So, so like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, when we talk about the inductor, it will consist uh, a coil uh, winding into some part, some kind of magnetic. Uh, material uh, then the coil itself is a, a conducting wire okay? so inductance is a property whereby an inductance exhibit opposition to the change of current flow flowing through it okay? and, and the inductor is measured uh, in Henry H, okay? H Henry. 
so so the person founded it is uh, Joseph Henry um, and and we we can say that one Henry uh, is equals to the one vote per second yeah? so one Henry is equals to one vote per one second yeah? so this is the main equation that relate into the uh, inductor uh, from current and the voltage yeah? where uh, the voltage is equal to inductor times by uh, the change of current uh, to the change of time yeah? so this is the formula calculating the inductor that are derived from the electromagnetic yeah? so L which is inductor is equal to N this is the term uh, N square and then uh, by the matter uh, probability of the material and then we have A which is uh, which is a cross-sectional area of uh, the, the the coil itself and then divided by the length yeah, the length of the uh, coil okay. Okay, so this is various type of the inductor uh, from the small size, small in size into the large size. Right? So a coil of wire form an inductor. When there is a current flow through the inductor, uh, through the, the, the coil, uh, a three-dimensional electromagnetic field is, will be uh, created yeah? surrounding the coil in all directions. So the typical inductor uh, have inductance value ranging from a few millihenry and microhenry, uh, which are used in a communication system. Uh, we can say it's an electronic circuit to tens, ten of henry, which is applied in the power system and big size. Okay. So inductor can also be fixed in value or variable. Yeah? So the core may be made of iron, uh, steel, plastic, or air. Yeah? So, so the circuit symbol for inductor, inductor fo following the passive sign of convection is like this. Yeah? So we have something like this. So this is the symbol of the inductor and then the current passed to the inductor in the coil. Okay. okay, so we know the the basic equation for the inductor is V equals to L D I over D T. Okay. So from this you can determine the value of current uh, which is uh, I is equals to 1 over L um, v dt okay? okay so this is you can you can uh, try to do the example then we understand how to use this this uh, this uh, this mathematical model for for the inductor but, but uh, when you try it, if you're having the trouble to solve this, uh, you can always uh, contact me, PM me to, uh, to, uh, to ask the question. Okay. okay, same as uh, similar to the capacitor, uh, to determine the energy store in the inductor, we can use this equation which is W is equal to half in that term value times with the current. So last time for the capacitor, W is equal to half capacitor times voltage, right? So the capacitor is depend on the voltage while the inductor depend on the current. W is equal to half times inductor 
times carbon square and i square. So the voltage across in that turn is usually zero when the current is constant. So it and that third act like a short circuit to the DC supply. And the current through in that third cannot change instantaneously. Same like a capacitor. So the current in the inductor it can uh, increase and decrease uh, uh, slowly. And it cannot go instantaneous. Okay? So the ideal capacitor does not dissipate energy. The inductor takes power from the circuit when it stores the energy and deliver the power to the circuit uh, when when there is no supply. Eh? So in practical, non-ideal inductor has a significant resistive component. Okay, same like um, uh, same like uh, uh, what you call it uh, capacitor. Eh? So this is some equation that you can you need to remember okay. equation related to inductor okay. inductor so this is the power uh, instantaneous power and this is energy energy store in cap uh, in inductor okay so this is to determine the value of inductor, which is n is n square is a number of turn of uh, coil, and this is permeability, and a is uh, the cross section of the coil, and then l is the length of the coil itself. Okay. okay then we look into the series and parallel inductor. Okay. So the, the inductor is uh, how we calculate the inductor is same like uh, we calculate the resistor. So series uh, inductor can be total like uh, uh, we calculate the series resistor. Same uh, with inductor. So in, uh, in parallel inductor, when we want to to to, to sum it, to, to, to total it, we have to uh, follow the equation like um, resistor in parallel also. Yeah. Okay. So this is the example of uh, calculation for the inductor. Okay, so let's say here we have example one, we have the uh, the current through uh, 0.1 Henry inductor and it's given that the current is 10 uh, uh, T times with a uh, E power of 5 T ampere eh? so find the voltage across the inductor and the energy store in it so you have to use the the, the standard equation eh? So V is equals to um, L T I over DT. Yeah. So you can use this equation. Okay. And then uh, the for the energy store, you can use W equals to 1 over 2 L I square. Okay. So this is how we uh, determine the value of voltage yeah, in the smart. So you have to do the derivation of the uh, uh, current, yeah, derivation of current, then we get this. So this is the, the answer for the voltage. Yeah. And then for the energy, we just uh, put the voltage value uh, the current value into with the with the inductor to get the energy store. Okay, so this is the second example. Uh, find the terminal voltage and the energy store. I think I think this 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 example also similar to the first one. Okay, uh, all, and and you can use the same equation. Okay. Okay, so this is the, the 
the the the solution for this example, All right? Okay, so the the third example you can try at home. And then the, the fourth example. This one as well. I'll, I'll just pass this one. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is a uh, series and parallel as uh, you can try as well. I think this the solution is in here. Okay. okay, so this is how you uh let's say so this is the the, the formula the formula the the simple simplified formula for the capacitor and also inductor okay. the capacitor and inductor L C and L. So for the L inductor, if it's in parallel, you have to totally like uh, resistor in parallel. While uh, series inductor is just totally, uh, just totally uh, like a resistor in series. But for the capacitor, it's opposite, an opposite uh, way uh, to. Uh, in order you to total the the parallel capacitor, you you can just uh, total uh, C1 plus C2. That's it. That's for the, the equivalent of the capacitor. But for the for the series capacitor, you have to cut total like a uh, resistor in parallel. Okay. So I think that's all for this. Um, this topic, okay? we finish the this uh, 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 the capacitor and also the inductor, okay? the theoretical part, and 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 for for next week we will look into the uh, last topic, and then we we will have the the test with uh, the test two, eh? we will have test two which which will be uh, include uh, check this chapter, chapter six, and also chapter five, two, two chapter. Eh? So we will do the test uh, maybe next week or the week after. I, I will let you know as soon as possible. Okay, and then after this, you you need to um, open the link given in the slide. Uh, uh, to answer the uh, quiz, eh? so for the quiz, uh, you have to. Uh, it got time, so you have to do it uh, properly, and then it, it will. Uh, it will be considered as your uh, quiz in the total mark for your course. Okay, All right. So that's it for tonight. Thank you very much and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.